Okay, so we have someone in today's class and we're going to take uh, one step equations, okay? Okay, you know what, let's just quickly do one step equations. Okay, let's say we have an example like this. Uh, we have 7x is equal to 63. Now, this is a one step equation where we're to find the variable x. And how do we do this? Well, we have something like this, where what is binding the variable and a number here, this is, sorry, this is 7x equal to what, 63. So how do we find x here? All we need to do is divide both sides, divide both sides by seven. And we have seven x divided by seven equal to what, 63 divided by seven. And when we cancel out this, 7 and 63 will go how many times to go what nine times so x is equal to what nine so this is the solution to um this equation this is just a one step equation now let's say we have let's do something again like this we have 4c equal to what 28 so what do we do to get a variable which is what c so we just divide both sides by four cancel cancel we have c left here and uh, 4 and 28 will go how many times it's going to go seven times. So C is equal to seven. So this is our answer here. Okay, let's say we have something like this. We have 23 plus M is equal to what, 51. This is just a one step equation, okay? So let's look for M. The variable here, we're looking for M. And what's uh, for us to find M, we have to take this 23 to this side, okay? So we have a positive M here is equal to what, 51. Taking this positive, um, this 23 is positive. Taking this positive to this side, what do we have? It changes to a negative, so we have a negative 23. So here, what do we have here? We have 51 minus 23. What would this give us? 51 minus 23. We borrow a one here, making 11. 11 minus three is what, eight. And what do we have left here? We have a four and four minus two, we have a two. So M is equal to what, 28. So this is the answer for this. All right, so let's take and one more example. Let's say we have minus 13 is equal to Y minus 12. Okay, so how do we find Y? We have to take uh, Y to this side of the equation. Y has to be on the left-hand side of the equation, Y, your numbers will be on your right-hand side. So taking this positive Y to this side, we have a negative Y equal to, we have here, let me admit Damara here, okay? Okay, can you please follow me? I've started the class, okay? So we have a negative Y here, then we have a negative 12, Taking this negative 13 to this side, we have what a positive what 13, okay? So here we have a negative y is equal to, this is a negative 12 plus a 13, that would give us what a one, a positive what one, which is y is equal to one. So here, what do we have here? We have a minus y is equal to what one. So it means y is equal to what minus one. Okay, how do I get minus one? We have to cancel out this negative from y here. And to cancel out this negative from y here, what we did was we have this. So we just divide both sides because this y here has a coefficient of what one. So we divide both sides by a negative one, divide by a negative one. Why this negative one will cancel out this negative one. So we have y and one divided by a negative one will give us what a negative one. That's how we got this, okay? So the answer is y equal to a negative one. Now we have something like this again. Uh, this is an example. Another one here. We have 26 is equal to b plus 33. How do we find our b? We take b to this side and bring 26 here. Taking b to this side, we have a negative b is equal to this is a positive 33, so we have a positive 33. Taking a positive 26 to this side, it comes to a what, negative 26, okay? So we have a negative B is equal to what is 33? Let's do it this year. 33 minus what, 26. All this give us, we have to borrow a one here, 13 minus six, 
what would that give us? That would give us what? A seven, and we are left with two here. So two minus two is zero. So 33 minus 26 is a what? A seven. So we have a positive what? Seven. This is a negative B equal to seven. Similar to this, we are going to have our B is equal to what? A negative seven. So this is the answer for this. We're doing equations and one step what? Equation, all right? So let's say we have another example. You know, what we're going to be doing here is treating a lot of like, practice examples. So you get it, okay? So let's say we have this. We have R minus what, 35 is equal to 75. Can, can you hear me? Is anyone hearing me? I can't hear anyone. Can you guys hear me? Why am I not hearing anyone? Yes, I, I can hear you. Okay, you're following me? Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, joining class, okay? All right, thank so you. we have here R minus 35 equal to, okay, someone else is um, coming in, Cindy. Okay, admitted Cindy. Cindy, welcome. Okay, so here we have R minus 35 equal to 75. All right, so um uh, to get a r we have to take this minus 35 to the other side of the equation so we have r is equal to 75 taking minus 35 to this side it becomes a positive or 35 so we're going to add 75 plus 35 and that would give us what five plus five is ten zero carry one and this one plus this seven is eight and eight plus three we have what 11 so r is equal to what 110 okay can someone try this can someone try this 19 equal to h minus 7 okay in two minutes please try this did anyone get the answer for h no i did not get any answer yet come again can you do it I don't think I know how to do it yet. <laughs> okay, okay. I just came in and you, yeah. Okay, let's do it together. So we have 19 equal mm -hmm. to H minus 7. So we have to look for H, okay? In maths, when we're having uh, equations, we have to put the vectors, the variables on your left hand side while the numbers will be on your right hand side, okay? So we're going to take this H to this side. Taking this positive H okay, to this side, we have a negative H equal to taking 19 to this side. What is left here? We have a negative 7. Taking positive 19 to this side, we have a negative 19. Okay. So from here, we have a negative H is equal to a negative 7 uh, minus a negative 19. What are we going to have? We're going to add this, okay? So we have 9, nine plus 7, that is, uh, is 16, carry 1, that's 26. So we're having a negative of 26. So from here, this negative will cancel out this negative, okay? Uh, so we have this negative will cancel out this negative. So we have H is equal to what? 26. So this is the answer for this, okay? Are you following Dara, Damara? I am. Okay. All right. So let, let can you try this now? This That's is a novel. <laughs> yeah. We have x plus six equal to thirty-three. Are you working on it? Yes. So what I'm gathering is the first thing is to. Well, we wouldn't have to move the variable because it's already in the beginning, correct? Yes, yes. And is that a... What are you looking a positive? For? I'm sorry. Come again? And that's the positive six. Okay, you take the positive six to the right-hand side. Correct. Okay. So you and you would subtract? Yes, good, good. You subtract. So we have 33. Taking the positive 6 to this side, you have a negative 6. So x is equal to, when you subtract 6 from 33, what are we going to have? What's going to be the answer? 33. Oh, 27, sorry. Good. It's going to be what? 27. So x is equal to 27. 27. 
Okay. Um, so let's say you have this. Let me give you one difficult one to try. Okay. So you have this. Uh, y minus 17 equals to minus 30. Can you try this? So you would add the 17 and the 30? Yes. Good, good. So you have y is equal to minus 30 plus mm -hmm. 17. Okay, and what would that give us? That would give us a negative what? 13. Okay? Yes. So y is equal to a negative 13. Okay? So um, let's say you we have this. Um, can you do this? Uh, uh, 14 minus w is equal to 42. Can you try this? Go ahead. The first thing I'm going to do is move the variable to the beginning. Okay. And so the variable is already here, right? Yes. On the left hand side. So all we need to do is move the number to the right hand side, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so we have Yeah. So we have a negative w. This negative stays with w is equal to 42. Taking this positive 14 to this side, we have a negative what 14. Okay, so we have a negative w is equal to 42 minus 19 uh, minus 14. What would this give us? Uh, we have to carry take a one here, so that's 12 minus 4, that's 8. We have left here 3 and 3 minus 1, we have a 2. So mm -hmm. minus w uh, is equal to what 28. 28. And from here, this um, negative has to come here as I did here. Okay, so we have w is equal to what negative what 28. So this is the answer for this. Okay, okay. Are you following? I am, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> I get excited when I start realizing things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's do one more. Okay. Okay, I think I've exhausted. So let's do something like this. Um, are you taking notes or can I can I clear the screen? Yes, you can clear. I can okay. clear the screen, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna clear the screen now. And uh when you have this particular equation which says 12 over x is equal to minus 3, do you know how to solve this to get the value for x? I, I don't know how to solve it, but I'm thinking you would multiply or... I, I'm guessing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you're getting it. So you multiply. You take... You multiply mm -hmm. x to 3. That's you cross multiply. Take this mm -hmm. x up. So you have 12 is equal to what? Uh, x times minus 3. That's minus 3x. Okay? Mm -hmm. So from here, mm -hmm. what do we do? All we need to do here is um, we can either take this here and bring this here. Okay? So let's take um, everything that uh, has the variable x to this side and bring the number to this side. Taking this to this side, we have a positive. Okay? positive 3x, taking this to the side, we have a negative what, 12. So here, from here, we now have to divide both sides by 3. So we can cancel out this 3 that is attached to this x here. So this will cancel out, and x is equal to minus 12 over 3. That will give us a negative 4, okay? 3 would go into 12 four times. So this is the answer for this. Are you following? Sorry, it froze. Uh, oh yeah, three over 12, 12 over three. Mm. So are you following? Negative x equals negative four. I'm sorry, I, I missed out the, the computer kind of lagged behind. Okay. So three into, I'm just looking at the example you put up. Three. Okay. Okay, three, six, nine, twelve. So did you divide three into the negative twelve? 
Yes, yes. So we divide okay. three both sides by both sides, and we mm -hmm. got uh, x is equal to a negative or four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, so let's say you have something like this too. Again, we have. Um, let's say we have. 24 is equal to 120 over x. How do we find x? Can you do this quickly? 120 over x. So we would divide. No, we would multiply. I don't know. But something is telling me to divide here. No. Nah. You first no. of all, what you first of all do is you cross multiply. Okay. So you take this x up Make here, x. here. It's like you just do this. You just say you cross multiply. So take this x up here. Okay. Um, the denominator of this twenty-four here is one. So you do uh, one times one twenty is still one twenty. So you just say cross mm -hmm. multiply. So you just x. So we have x times twenty-four will be what twenty-four what x. Four equal to 120 okay so from here to get our value for x we have to divide both sides by 24 okay all right so this 24 here will cancel out this 24 here and so mm. we have x how many times can 24 go in 120 um mm. let's reduce this together let's say 12 12 will go here 1 0 10 times 12 will go in 24 two times and two here one and two in ten is what five. So x is equal to what five? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How about another one? <laughs> Let's see if I can try it. Don't worry, I'll, I'll give you some assignments uh, on the group. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. So let's do this uh, last one before we call it a day, because it's um. No problem. Just a 40 minutes classes on Zoom and the free uh, uh, package is just for 40 minutes. Okay. Okay. But if you if you want one-on-one um, -on -one tutorials, you can always uh, let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we'll do. Um, just uh, just so you can send me a mail. Or uh, I think uh, you're on the group, right? On I'm WhatsApp. in the group. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I'm in the group. The WhatsApp. So you can group. send me a private message. All right. Okay. So no we have x over 11 equal to what 6. So how do we get x here? It's quite straightforward, right? <laughs> to get x here, all you need to do is just say 11 times 6. Okay, you just cross multiply. All right? So 11 times 6 is what 66. So x is equal to what? Okay. Mm. All right. Sure. Sorry, my system seems to be going in and out right now. I don't know what's going on. Uh -huh. um, Sixty-six. Okay. We have a similar example like this. Let's say you have eighteen is equal to y over four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. So to get the value for y, it's just to cross multiply. Just say four times eighteen, okay? So it, so eighteen times four is equal to y. And what's eighteen times four? Seventy-two. Oh, great, seventy-two. So we have y is equal to seventy-two. So this is the answer. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. So let's call it a day today, and um, I will send some assignments. Okay, thank you so much. On the group. All right, thank you. Okay, bye everyone. Thanks for joining today's class.